Hello friends, I am Dr. Anurag Saxena, Head of Department of Neurosurgery at Manipal Hospitals, Dwarka, New Delhi. And today we are going to discuss about a topic called as hydrocephalus, which means increased water pressure inside the brain. What exactly is hydrocephalus and how it is treated? Hydrocephalus is a term given uh, to a condition where the CSF or the brain fluid is starts to increase in the brain. Now it can be either to the blockage of the flow of the brain fluid or it can be because of uh, lack of absorption. So the fluid is being produced, but it is not being absorbed in the same quantity so that the balance is uh, not achieved and the fluid starts to accumulate. Now what exactly happens is when hydrocephalus happens, the fluid starts to accumulate and the pressure inside the brain keeps on increasing. That can lead to multiple problems. Initially in uh, uh, older children or in older people or in uh, adults, it can lead to headaches. In uh, younger children, that can lead to decreased feeds, drowsiness, excessive crying, banging of their heads. Uh, in very small uh, children or infants, you can have increase in the head size. That indicates the high pressure in the brain and there are multiple signs which a pediatrician or a doctor can uh, detect while examining the patients uh, to sign out increased pressure in the brain. A simple CT scan or an MRI can tell us exactly uh, how serious is the hydrocephalus and what is the cause of the hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is largely treated by a VP shunt surgery which involves putting a shunt or a tube inside your brain with a valve sitting just behind the ear. Now this valve can be fixed pressure shunts which, uh, which opens on a certain pressure and closes on it or it can be a programmable shunt which we normally prefer to do which involves the, uh, putting a sophisticated uh, shunt which from outside the skin or outside the body we can change the pressure as per the requirement of the patient and the other end goes into the abdomen or the peritoneal cavity it drains the excessive fluid so it normalizes the pressure inside the brain and reduces the symptoms of high pressure in the brain so this is called as a VP shunt but there are certain cases where shunt might can be avoided uh, for example uh, there are cases where there is a blockage and we can make an artificial passage inside the brain which is called as an ETV or an endoscopic third ventriculostomy. Sometimes your hydrocephalus can be because of a tumor sitting inside the brain blocking the path. So if you remove the tumor, you can open the pathway and a shunt can be avoided. So treatment of hydrocephalus largely depends on the cause of the hydrocephalus. So timing of hydrocephalus surgery is very important. Uh, Children who are diagnosed early and are treated early are able to achieve a normal growth, normal milestones and are able to lead a normal life uh, once they are treated with the hydrocephalus. Thank you.